Okay, this is uh, an old classic, this. Very, very simple to do. You can just keep going round and round and round as many times as you like. First of all, I'm just gonna start with my index finger playing the C, the, if you're looking at a full size piano, you want the second C from the bottom. So there's one C at the bottom, which is just off camera here, which I don't think the camera's picking up, but you want this one that the camera is just about picking up here. So. That's it, that's pretty much your, you know, the, the basis. So then you just want to hit in a C and a G. So I'm just going to keep the, the left hand rolling. Yeah. So after that, what you can do is, I don't know, maybe you can put some octaves in. You just build up the start however you want to, then when you're ready, so I'm just going to stop the left hand for a minute. So while that's rolling, the left hand can be going. just practically using the C, the E, the F, the G and the A. So it sounds a bit odd now because I've taken the sustain pedal off. So the good thing about this, you, you have to use a sustain pedal with this. I mean this without the sustain pedal. Doesn't sound very good. But if you've never used a sustain pedal before, don't worry because you can pretty much, dare I say, you can pretty much keep your foot down on the sustain pedal and it will sound pretty well okay all the way throughout. This is probably <laughs> maybe one of the only pieces um, that I know where you could get away with the foot down on the piano. Now I know all you pianists out there are screaming, no, 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 change the pedal. But you know, we're, we're talking about beginners here there's nothing wrong. I know, you know, there is a correct way to do the pedaling and I've got videos on those and etc, etc. You know, and I, I teach the, teach correct pedaling to my students and everything. But, you know, just for a bit of fun, for the purpose of this video, you could probably just stick your foot on the pedal and just maybe lift it up and, and put it back down again every so often, just, just to clear the pedal if you like. So... that section. The next section starts with the C above it. I mean that that's practically it. Goes three times. pretty well it. With the left hand you can't keep doing the C because it doesn't sound right so when you start up here you need to be moving to an E then an F then down to a C. Move to the F back down to the C. E F C saying I can do that and then that could just go back to the beginning again if you want to do a little bit more with the left hand at any point just increase that into octaves sound and that's pretty 
much it. So I wouldn't start with octaves uh, to begin with. I'd just start with the, the, the lower C or the second C up from the bottom if you're talking a full size piano. You'll know if you've hit the, you know, you kind of get that sort of crunch sound that, you know, sound, it really does sound like the end of the piano. So you don't quite want that one. You want the next one up. The one up from that isn't quite low enough, so therefore it doesn't have much meat in it. Not quite the same as. create that sound I've just have created all I've done is just hit the octave C beneath it on the first beat of sort of every every section if I just move my hand up so you can see so so where I was doing this just down there a minute ago down there and that's when you get that really deep note that really deep note that sounds nice so so I know you can't see it it's off camera but up if I just did it up here play the octave and then finish up with playing that single note and again with the pedal down that's going to sound really nice it's going to sound beautiful and it's going to sound you are going to sound amazing and really impress your friends so even though this is only a very simple tutorial, you know, you can keep going round and round. And to be honest, you know, if you if your friends don't really think you can play the piano and you're knocking out stuff like this, which is super simple, it's just going to impress anybody, trust me. So that's pretty much it. So like I said, just finish with the octaves. <laughs> Exactly the same thing, but instead of just doing the one single note, you're just increasing that with an octave. Nothing fancy, nothing clever, just if you can get the octave and just lock your hand into position. There you go, just keep that there. If you want to have a nice finish, what you can do is play a B flat and F, 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 and then finish on a C chord. So if you don't quite know how to finish, you can go. So that's quite a nice little, um, you know, it's, it's just quite a nice little finish there. So um, if you wanted to go from and something like that. So it's just B flat and F and then with the right hand, the next B flat and F with the left hand, B flat and F, right hand, B flat and F left hand B flat and F, one more I think, I know you can't see it, right hand B flat and F, and then just finish on a C chord. If you're not confident doing that, go back to doing that octave C that you had, and then you could just do a C with the right hand, or two, or you know, whatever you want to do. If you want to do a C chord, then you could do that too. If you're gonna do the C chord, I would, personally what I would do is the octave C in the left, I do an octave C in the right and I just hit a G in the right hand. Don't do an E because the, the, the E is going to make it sound too major. 